Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to Kerbal Space Program with Down to Earth Astronomy. I played this game doing my 10 hours 10 game livestream and by popular demand I ended up trying to build a very makeshift model of the Anaconda uh, from Elite Dangerous in Kerbal Space Program. And this was pretty much what, uh, what we ended up with. Um, as you can see it's kind of rough and we have the basic shape of an Anaconda and if you if you really want to, you could kind of see that it looks like an anaconda. Um, but again, I, I built this very quickly and I promised on the stream that I would uh, come back to it and just do a, a very quick follow-up. Um, and I've been tweaking it a little bit and it's, uh, I wouldn't call it flyable, but it's somewhere close. Um, I'll just give you a quick rundown. Most of the, the structure of the, the ship, or, yeah, the ship is built of just simple wing structures that's been, uh, been moved around. Underneath we have a plethora of um, RCS engines that we're going to use to lift us off the ground when we start. Because of course, true to the original Anaconda, we only have landing gear and no wheels. Um, to try and give that uh, smooth effect we have a lot of air intakes because we need them to power our uh, engines here at the back. i um, going for a twin engine design. This actually, if you zoom in, you can see there are four engines to give me some more thrust. Just roughly put them in the same place. Um, to cheat a little um, because well this thing is heavy and it needs more power um, and that is actually pretty much it we have some other uh, RCS thrusters around um, and a little bit of control services I've also added uh, in there you can see them hidden in there there's some reaction wheels same up here um, just to help with stabilizing this a bit because otherwise if we're not going fast enough I mean, this thing's not going to be anywhere near um, aerodynamically stable if you look at it. I mean, we have most of our wing area in front of the center of mass which would be around back here. We can turn that on. You can see our center of mass here. Um, I moved that quite far forward because I wanted again to get us as close to all this wing area here. So I filled, filled this up with fuel. This one is empty. Um, this is just for structural, um, a structural part. But anyway, um, we can tweak the fuel back and forth if we try it. But uh, let's try to get it on the um, on the launch pad and, uh, and let's see if we can get this thing to fly. Okay, so we are on the runway and here's what we're going to do. We're going to try to take this off as you would take off in the game. Um, which would of course be to... Oh, it's jittering all over the place. Um, which would just be to lift off, turn the ship up and then just fly upwards. So uh, let's try that. Turning on the engines here. And we're going to use our RCS thrusters to try and lift us off the ground. Point our nose upwards. And then we're just going to take off into the sky. Now, there are a few things apart from the, the ship not being too pretty. It's when in this situation here, it's actually fairly, fairly stable. But that is only because you can see here all the RCS thrusters firing away, trying to keep this um, thing pointed in the right direction. And you can see here we are actually using our RCS fuel rather quickly right now. Um, which is of course going to be a problem. Because uh, as soon as we run out of RCF fuel, um, this thing is going to become horribly, horribly unstable, uh, as you're going to see here in a little bit. And this thing is going to probably go, go into a flat spin or something like that. Let's see what happens here. Run out of fuel. Yeah, yeah, it's no, no, it's not, it's not a stable thing at all. Um, oh, now it's pointing in the right direction. Let's try to throttle up again. Oh, that's because we're falling. So now it wants to... Uh, anyway, it's not stable. It's not stable at all. It always wants to keep the thrusters pointing in the direction that uh, that we're moving. So again, but again, we can try and, and and tweak it a little bit by moving some of the fuel around. See, if we can't give it uh, a little bit more uh, stability here. Okay, I have now been tweaking the fuel a little bit, and I think I got a combination now that should make this fairly flyable. Let's see how it performs now. Just before we're going to lift off. You see, it's a little bit heavier now because I have slightly more fuel on board. I'm gonna point this straight up. As before, get the landing gear up. And we can see as we begin to pick up speed, and then the ship begin to dig into the uh, the air, the RCS thrusters begin to fire. So at this point, I will probably try to throttle down a bit and keep our speed 
fairly constant because if we go too quickly we'll begin to burn our uh, RCS fuel, fuel way way too quickly. And you can see we have a pretty decent burn rate both in terms of RCS and liquid fuel at the moment. So I'm pretty happy with that and we are getting some um, getting some good speed here. We are losing a little bit of speed so let's uh, give the engines a little bit more power. And as we get higher and higher we are going to, um, to use less and less oxidizer. Of course, because as the air gets thinner, it's not gonna dig as much into the, uh, the unstable body of the um, of the ship here. So we're gonna use less and less of uh, of our RCS. And so uh, at the end, I think our liquid fuel is gonna be a problem. Maybe we're gonna run out of atmosphere at some point. Um, but for now, it's actually doing pretty well, um, and I'm pretty happy with it for something that's just done very, very quickly, completely unplanned, doing a. Uh, uh, doing a live stream. Remember, I'm. I mean, I've, I had spent quite some time in Kerbal Space Program, but building weird structures like this, not so much. So, but anyway, I I'm actually pretty happy with it, and I like it a lot. It was a quite fun little uh, little channel to do in a, in a short amount of time. Um, but anyway, let me know what you think. Uh, do you want to see more Kerbal Space Program? Because it's it's something I really wanted to try and get more of. Um, just to try other games as well. That's also space related. Uh, oh wow, this ship is going to run out pretty much at the same time. I managed to, to eyeball this pretty good. Anyway, um, just a short little fun video just because, again, I, follow, I, I promised you a follow-up on the uh, on the Anaconda to see if we can get it a little bit more stable. And I'm pretty happy with where it is right now. Um, at least we managed to get up to, uh, to I think, around 10 kilometers. But let's see what happens when we run out of fuel. This thing's going to be horribly, horribly unstable. And there we go, no more fuel, and the whole thing just turns nose down as soon as it has no fuel, because apparently it's it's nose heavy, which is not going to help a lot. Maybe we can rock this into some kind of, we actually have a decent amount of control here, but I don't think this uh, there's any chance in uh, any chance we're going to see this thing go anywhere. Oh, we actually managed to make it fall in the right direction. But that's my very quick update on the makeshift anaconda in Kerbal Space Program. Um, I hope you liked the video. If you did, give it a like down below. And I hope I will see you guys in space.